uh, we'll be covering scanning RFIDs using Chainway C72 device with Asset Infinity. So now I have got some tags with me. So this is a tie tag, the RFID tie tag. Um, I have this hard tag on metal tag. This is another on metal tag. And then I have another on metal but a paper tag. So we have the number, uh, a lot of details printed on this. And this one has the number which, uh, which basically is there in the RFID. We'll be using this device so just to clarify so this is the chainway c72 and uh, you can power this on and uh, once you have logged into the play store you can download the asset infinity v2 app and uh, just make sure that the android web view is updated to the latest version so you'll be able to use the app then and uh, then we'll be focusing on the keyboard app over here so I'll share the screen from my current device so I'm using the chainway c72 to record to record this uh, video right. so now uh, you can see so this the keyboard app is present over here so I'll move to the function over here so this is the first tab over here so make sure that the enable scanner is on and it is the UHF is ticked over here so if it is not ticked, uh, you can just make this off tick the UHF and then turn it on <coughs> then you can go to the application settings and uh, over here just make sure uh, by default these will be all set like this so the first one is off the second one is on rest of them will all be off now the process mode is an important uh, step over here so make sure this is set to broadcast receiver so we can skip the barcode one because uh, we may not be using the barcode reader but we'll be using the RFID one so within this the RFID broadcast name so this must be set to Android dot intent dot action dot scanner dot RFID so notice RFID is in caps so I'll see uh, I'll show that again Android dot intent dot action dot scanner dot RFID and the key over here should be data so by default it is data just make sure this is data the end mark so whenever the RFID is scanned uh, the automatic end mark will be an enter key so this is enabled over here and we'll be scanning uh, the hex codes for the RFID over here then the con continuous scan is important so otherwise the uh, over here in the UHF so otherwise the device will scan only one RFID and then you have to pull the trigger again and uh, then scan the next one so if you if the continuous scan is on if you pull the trigger so it will start scanning all the RFIDs and it will give you a complete list of all the RFIDs which are being scanned the output power is another important uh, definition over here so this starts from 1 and goes up to 30 so this basically suggests that what what should be the read range of uh, the device so 30 is the maximum so it will read across a, a, a large portion of uh, area if it is set to 1 then probably you have to bring the tag very close to the reader and then you can read it so if you are doing some um, if the use case is that the tag has to be scanned very closely then I would recommend it setting it to 5 otherwise if you are scanning all the assets around you and uh, it doesn't matter that anything comes up so then 30 should be the idle one uh, make sure UPC is taped so these are all default settings over here right so everything uh, is set and uh, there's nothing to do on the 2d settings then to test this so you can go to the test tab and you can start scanning so I'm just pulling the trigger over here this gives me all the tags which are around me so now there are a lot of tags but right now I have only five tags in front of me so this is a powerful device this scans many tags which are uh, probably behind me or uh, anywhere near me so I can just uh, reduce the power also I can say that I just want to scan up to 5 dBm and then if I scan 
So if you notice, so this will give me only the ones which are uh, the tags which are near me. All right. So now once this is set, uh, you can close this app. Uh, you can go to Asset Infinity. So now this is the app that we have. So once you have logged in, you will see a similar interface like this. And now for scanning. So the most important part is uh, whenever you are adding assets. So if I go to the add asset screen, so this asset code is the RFID number that we have in uh, in the RFIDs, right? So if I open, if I click on this QR code, so now this is basically the QR code. I'll just hide this for a minute. So now the number in the asset code should be the RFID number. So this is important. So I'll just scan this. You can scan uh, using this also using a QR code if you have QR codes on your RFID tags and just make sure that the asset has uh, these RFID numbers so asset code is the default field which stores the RFID number uh, we do have scan settings where you can change the default scan field so if you don't want asset code if you have RFID numbers in another field you can select that field to make it uh, the default field for scanning RFIDs